Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. is preparing for war right now with North Korea. You can read this article on businessinsider.com. Let me give you a quick excerpt. The U.S. is preparing to attack North Korea, according to Geopolitical Futures founder George Friedman, setting the stage for a difficult, messy war with potentially catastrophic consequences. Well, you think? Speaking Monday to an audience at the 2017 Strategic Investment Conference, in Orlando, Friedman said that while it was unlikely the U.S. would take action before President Donald Trump returns from his trip this weekend, North Korea's actions appear to have offered the U.S. no alternative to a clash. Now, according to the geopolitical futures analysis, evidence is mounting that the aggression between the two is escalating to a point where war is absolutely inevitable. Friedman also says that the USS Carl Vinson, the supercarrier, and the USS Ronald Reagan are both within striking distance of North Korea. On top of that, over a hundred F-16 aircraft are conducting daily exercises in that area, and that was also a tactic that foreshadowed the beginning of Desert Storm, as well as all the media pushing Little Kim as the boogeyman. Remember back previous to the... September 11th attacks, remember all of the commercials, uh, not commercials, all of the 60 Minutes and news articles showing bin Laden was putting together a big terrorist group with, you know, they're going across monkey bars with AK-47s strapped to their backs. It, it was just completely prepping the stage, conditioning the masses. And as soon as that attack happened, what did virtually everybody think? Oh, it was Osama bin Laden or it was Saddam Hussein. Those are the two immediate subconscious triggers that people's minds had go back to the time 2001 and think about where your head was at then what was the first thing you thought who did you think did it first most people are going to say osama bin laden and mr saddam hussein and f-35s have been deployed in that area guam is also getting briefed on civil defense and terrorism tactics Seoul is in the crosshairs. So my question is, what happens to the over 25 million refugees in North Korea if their government and their leadership just completely dismantles? Where do they go? What do they do? I mean, they've been completely indoctrinated with little Kim Un as their savior. What happens to South Korea and its people? What happens to cities like Seoul? Amazing city. One of the most technologically advanced, beautiful cities in the world, if you like lots of people. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I like lots of people. I just don't like being around lots of people. So what are they going to do? And, and what's China going to do? What's Russia going to do? What about the deal that just got, you know, put together with President Trump and Saudi Arabia, hundreds of billions of dollars worth of war machines? And then let's get into the emergency meetings across the globe. You know, the Chinese have had emergency meetings recently, the Russians, the United Kingdom, the United States, just to name a few of the big players. And yes, there's official stories behind that. Many of those have been flat out. They've said that it's because of North Korea. You know, the United Kingdom and the, uh, the royalty out there when the queen put her people together and did the emergency meeting, it was supposedly just to call for Prince Philip's resignation. Well, why would they have an emergency meeting for a resignation? Does that make logical sense? Come on now. The media is doing its best to sculpt war right now. They're doing their best to justify it in the eyes of the masses and the people so people will give it public support because that's one key to the media is sculpting the minds of the masses. Remember, you guys, the media is more powerful than the military because the media can decide what the military is going to do. If you really think about it, the media sculpts the people in the, in the military. And let's say that you're somebody that's never even watched TV or listened to a song or a movie or a t any type of a specific program or talk radio. Let's say that you've been in a cave your entire life and then you train for the military. Well, that person that trains you has most likely been indoctrinated by the media once again. So if you know what to look for, if you know how to use it to your benefit, then the media can be a tool for you to actually grow. Yet if you're one of those people that gets controlled by the media and lets all those subliminal programs and triggers neuro linguistic programming anchors get embedded into your mind, then the media works for them and not for you, suppressing you, your emotions, and your true evolution into higher self. Keep that in mind if you want to, and if not, 
hey, right on, have fun. So question everything. That's my motto. And if we do go to war with North Korea, how nasty is it going to get? Is it going to be as bad as Ed Dames predicted? Now, he's had a lot of fells, so I, I'm not putting a whole lot of merit into Ed Dames. However, he has hit on some things that have came true. So the question is, his prediction of South Korea, North Korea, the Korean Peninsula being the pivot point to global thermal nuclear war, is that going to be the trigger? Is that the starting point? Question everything, leakproject.com, and make sure to check out, click the link in the video description box for the quick bivy. These things are awesome. They fit in the palm of your hand, and they could potentially save your life if you ever need to stay warm due to various circumstances. Imagine being in the car, taking a road trip. It's snowing out. It's raining out. You go off the side of the road, and you get stuck in a blizzard for a couple of days. Well, with this quick bivy, you could stay warmer by wrapping yourself in it, and it's so light. You can put it in a glove box. You can put it under your seat. You can put it in your pocket. You can... Carry it around with you everywhere. Literally, if you have a bug out bag, I know people that carry their bug out bags with them to go to corporate jobs. I used to be that guy. Well, put it in your bug out bag. You don't even need a bug out bag, in my opinion. If you work 10 minutes from your house, I mean, I was thinking about it. When I used to be that guy that would take my <laughs> bug out bag to work with me, and I was riding my bike to work. I worked for a Fortune 100 company, and I rode my bicycle to work. I would get to work. I would run upstairs in the bathroom, and I'd take a quick, you know, poor man shower. So I wouldn't stink and be all sweaty because by the time I got there, it was about 30 miles every day round trip. Blast, loved it, totally into it. And you know, most people there were driving Porsches and BMWs and wearing $500 shoes and the ties and the suits and all that kind of stuff. Well, I had everything there, so when I got there, I just change and and do my thing. But where am I going with this? I used to be that guy that would take my bug out bag with me to work, and I started thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? I'm 15 miles away. From my house why do i need to take an entire bug out bag with me to work i mean if, if things get that bad i can walk home in a few hours i could i could run home in a couple hours i could ride my bike home in less than an hour like 40 minutes so you don't really need a whole bug out bag in my opinion if you're going 15 minutes away to work yet having one of these quick bivvies you know hey that thing's tiny you can you can fit that thing in just about any any place well maybe not but <laughs> hello so anyway, thank you for your support. I appreciate everybody that's been here with me. I had a blast at X-Fest. We're going to have some more events coming up here in South Dakota, one of my favorite states in the world, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, make sure to become a premium member at leakproject.com. I've got multiple podcasts this week that I'm putting up in the premium section for premium members only with interviews from very intelligent people from around the world. So once again, have a beautiful day. Be the change you want to see.